chip cookies are a favorite dessert around the world, but what is it that makes them so delicious? Butter. It keeps your cookies tender, helps them spread out, and adds a ton of flavor. Butter is a lipid. That's a fancy word for fat. A lipid is made of two monomers, fatty acids and glycerol. Before we start baking, let's talk a little bit about butter. Butter has 17% total fat, 37% saturated fat, 10% cholesterol, and 4% sodium. If a butter is a saturated fat, what's the difference between a saturated fat and an unsaturated fat? <laughs> well, a saturated fat is solid at room temperature, but an unsaturated fat would be liquid. This is because of their difference in chemical structure. As this diagram shows, like butter, a saturated fat is completely surrounded or saturated with hydrogen molecules. An unsaturated fat has double bonds breaking up the hydrogen molecules and creating gaps in the chain. This is what would make it a lipid. There are many ways to test for lipids in your food, but an easy at-home way to do it is take a little bit of the butter and rub it on a paper bag. Wait a couple minutes for it to dry and put it under a light source. If there's a grease stain where you put your butter, lipids are present. Try it with any food. <laughs> now let's look at a triglyceride diagram. A triglyceride is the type of lipid you take in when you consume fat in your food, a food like butter. As you can see, triglycerides consist of a chemical backbone made up of a glycerol molecule. This is shown in green. The structure also has three long chains of carbon and hydrogen. These chains are called fatty acids. This is shown in red. When a plant or animal produces a triglyceride, it connects each of the fatty acid chains to the glycerol backbone through a process called dehydration synthesis. In this process, two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom are removed between each chain and as a result produce water molecules. A lipid is not a polymer. I'm a glycerol backbone. And we're all fatty acid tails. Notice that we're all different, but we all still make up one chain. Anyways, let's get to baking. The ingredients you will need are one cup of softened butter, one cup of white sugar, one cup of brown sugar, two eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla, three cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of hot water, a half teaspoon of salt, and two cups of chocolate chips. Start by preheating your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Cream your butter and sugars together. If you want a healthier alternative for butter, replace it with equal amounts of canola oil. Lower in saturated fats, cholesterol, and sodium. And then add in your eggs and your vanilla. Dissolve your baking soda in hot water. Add it to the batter with your salt. Stir in your flour slowly. Then mix in your chocolate chips. Drop large spoonfuls <laughs> of the dough on an ungreased pan. Cook for 10 minutes until the edges become brown. In the oven, the butter melts. While it spreads the cookies out, it also lets trapped water from the butter release and expand into steam, which makes the cookies light and airy. Once you let your cookie sit for a minute, they're ready for eating. They're, they're ready, ready for eating. eating! Now that you know the science behind a cookie, you are set to try this recipe on your own. Thanks, Thanks for, for tuning in to Goodies! goodies. <laughs>